We reached the age of generative artificial intelligence, also known as generative AI, where computers can now listen and respond to us in a human-like manner. Perhaps you have heard concerned voices around this technology. Any new technology misused can cause harm. But let me invite you to see how AI has the potential to humanize some aspects of healthcare education more than we might think. As a healthcare educator, I have used simulation to nurture practice-ready healthcare professionals for over a decade. In fact, I went through simulation training two decades ago as a student nurse myself. Although that might have involved some stuffed doll-like mannequins back then. The use of simulation in healthcare education is nothing new, and it has proven to be a valuable way to rapidly advance the knowledge and skills of healthcare professionals. Come along with me and experience the role of a new healthcare provider in training. Imagine walking into a patient's room where you have a patient in the bed. The machines around the patient's bed are beeping and the monitor shows the patient's heart rhythm. You are the nurse responsible for taking care of this patient, making sure they're receiving the care they need. As a nurse, before giving any medications or injections, you need to verify if you have walked into the right patient's room and if you have the right patient in front of you. You need to verify if you have the right medication and if it's in the right dose. When you're ready to give the medication, you would want to introduce yourself to the patient and explain how this medication is going to help them. As you are walking through these steps, the machine sounds the alarm. Your patient is having an allergic reaction, falling unconscious, and you must rapidly respond. You may have to call the other members of the medical team or start chest compressions. This sounds really scary, doesn't it? Your patient's life is at risk, perhaps from an unexpected reaction to a medication, or possibly you've made a mistake. Thankfully, this was all a simulation. The mannequin in the bed is safe, and no one has been hurt. Your instructors were intently watching your every move to provide you with feedback to guide your future practice. You will have an opportunity to reflect on what just happened, trace back your actions, and plan for future. While you are feeling the responsibility of a clinician acting on your feet and caring for this patient, until very recently, you would be working with a static mannequin that has relatively limited collection of pre-recorded audio responses. So your instructors may end up being the voice of the mannequin. And in these cases, you as a student may have a harder time concentrating on the scenario because you know you're talking to your instructor and you may feel a little nervous or even intimidated by your instructor. Professional actors and actresses may act as patients for you, but in these cases, delivery of electric shock or chest compressions on a live acting patient must of course be rightfully limited. So oftentimes, simulations are conducted with plastic mannequins that do not really prompt the students to communicate with or care for a person in front of them. The use of generative artificial intelligence can bolster educational simulation by making them much more realistic. The Gen AI can bring the mannequins to life and offer more of that human-like responses. So they can answer your questions such as, how are you feeling today? Allowing for that natural conversations. The voice or the way of communication can also resemble the patient's profile. Just as Siri or Alexa have an accent, the Gen AI can use the patient's chart as a map for how they may sound. You know, masculine, feminine, young, old, hard of hearing, 
and so on. This presents an opportunity to further augment the simulation experience with a wider variety of scenarios, helping the students feel much more prepared and confident after these simulations. Consider other benefits. The Gen AI can serve as a teaching assistant or a research assistant. As a teaching assistant, the AI could summarize the student's performances and offer initial suggestions for feedback. This frees up the instructor to focus on observing the students to provide them with personalized feedback. As a research assistant, the AI could gather initial information and evidence to answer questions such as, what may be additional considerations if the situation occurred on an airplane? Or what if there was a power outage? This frees up the instructor to consider offering a wider variety of scenarios or fine tune existing ones. So now let's go back and reimagine our simulation enhanced by the power of AI. You walk into the patient's room where there's a patient laying in the bed. This time, the patient's sense that you have entered the room and asks who you are and why you're there. You could tell from the voice that this patient is a child who may be feeling a little uncomfortable talking to you or even being in this hospital environment. You may also recognize that English is not the child's first language. When you explain you are the nurse taking care of them today, they note that their parent went out to grab food for their sibling. As the scenario progresses, the parent returns and the child greets them with relief and excitement. And now, you're ready to give the medication. When you're giving the medication, again, you would want to explain how this medication is going to help them and how you're actually going to give it. Here, you may want to adjust how you explain the procedure to a child. You may want to ensure that the child actually understood your explanations. They may ask you questions, their parents' questions, or even refuse to take the medication. While your instructors were intently watching your every move to provide you with feedback to guide your future practice, the generative AI-powered software was also taking notes for your instructor. Did you scan and verify if you have the right patient and the right medication? Did you notice that the child's blood pressure is a little lower than usual? While the AI is keeping track of the basics, your instructor is preparing to give you the most personalized feedback, ready to dive deeper into why you might have missed certain critical steps and what you could do differently in the future to not miss those steps. The AI could also quickly access the literature to provide some evidence-based suggestions for the instructor to consider based on the student's performances. Here, we were able to see how the Gen AI could humanize the simulation education by making the interactions much more realistic and the experience much more immersive. We could also see how the Gen AI could support the instructors, freeing them up to focus on providing that personalized feedback with an emphasis on that human-to-human -human interactions. As I said earlier, the use of simulation in healthcare education is nothing new. Tools used to offer simulation have progressed over the years. Gen AI is a tool that can be used to further augment the simulation experience. These technologies already exist, and it's just being put together to be made available for us to use in the simulation world in the next few years. In healthcare education, Gen AI can support the instructors and breathe life into these interactions, helping the students learn more effectively. So I urge us to consider the positive possibilities. How? the use of generative artificial intelligence could lead to 
better trained healthcare professionals, and more effectively treated patients.